The thing with Salesforce queues is that they are your task management sidekick. They make teamwork easy by organizing, splitting, and assigning jobs to collaborative teams. This feature set has the potential to completely transform the way that you handle task management and allocation. First off, what are Salesforce queues? Salesforce queues are a dynamic tool designed to distribute and assign records among a group of users based on predefined criteria. They function like holding areas in your CRM, where records wait to be picked up and assigned to either the record owner or another user. They also prioritize, distribute, and assign the records utilized by teams that share responsibilities. Now, what are the key benefits of Salesforce queues? Queues bring together a group of users, making it easier to manage a shared workload with fluctuating capacity. They also provide visibility into what needs to be done and notify all queue members, which is especially useful when team members are sick or on vacation. Are you looking for the latest insights to turbocharge your Salesforce instance? We've partnered with IBM for the last few years to launch their State of Salesforce report an overview on the latest trends in the ecosystem and how they impact your org. This year, the trends that were revealed are definitely not ones to miss, with even more telling insights than last year. I recommend everyone in the ecosystem to read the report and you can download it for free at salesforcebend.com forward slash IBM or you can click on the link in the comments. How do queues work? A queue is a group of users. But basically, despite it being a group of users, you can consider the queue as a single user. It can act as a placeholder for a record owner of an item that does not have someone specifically assigned to it. Now, a queue has the following parts. First are the queue members. Next is the optional queue email. Next is the record assignment rule. And last are the quick actions. But first, let's discuss the two most important parts, which are the members and the record assignment rules. The members of the queue can accept records owned by the queue. Take note though that users with a higher role than these members can also take ownership of the records. These queue members can be added individually or by multiple users at once. Next are the record assignment rules. Since the queue can act like a placeholder for the record owner, you'd only need to update the owner field on a record in order to add it to a queue. This can be done automatically using assignment rules for specific criteria or manually by simply changing the record's owner. Now, what is the difference between a queue and a group? Since both queues and public groups are collections of users, you know, like a team, they can often be confused with each other. Always remember that groups or public groups extend record visibility. They do not allow users to change the record owners of those records. The main purpose is all about sharing data. But with queues, again, you can think of queues as a placeholder for the record owner wherein the members of the queue can take final ownership of a record from the queue. Basically, you can say that groups are for sharing and visibility, while queues are for record assignment. Now, to illustrate all of this better, let's work on an example. The most common way to use queues in Salesforce are for leads and for cases. Let's say an organization is asking their admin to create a lead queue for each regional team. In this scenario, let's say that the goal is to have lead records automatically routed to a queue based on their region. For example, Amer, let's name the region Amer for America, APAC for Asia, and EMEA for Europe. For this example, let's create a queue for EMEA leads. Now, first step is creating the queue. From setup, let's use the quick find box to search for and click queues. Hit new and then enter a label. Let's name this EMEA leads. It is optional to add a queue email. When you add an address to this, an email notification will be sent to it whenever a new record is added to the queue. It is great for shared inboxes. Now, when you select send email to members, all the users in the queue will receive respective email updates too, not only the address entered as a queue email. Next, scroll down to supported objects and here we'll select lead from the available objects and add it to the selected column. 
Further down the queue member section, it is time to add our users. On to our next step, assignment rules. If you'd like to automatically add records to a queue upon their creation and based on specific criteria, set up a lead assignment rule. From setup, let's search for lead assignment rules in the quick find box. And in this page, you'll see the rules in your org and whether or not they're active. You can create a new rule or in this case, let's edit the currently active rule in my org. As you can see, there is already an existing rule entry that routes leads with the United States as the country field's value. These go into the Amer Leads queue. Now to add a new entry, hit new and add a sort order of 2 to indicate that this will be evaluated next should the incoming lead not satisfy the criteria for the previous rule entry. For the criteria, I am setting it to the country field and for the sake of this example, we'll use France alone. Set the assignment to the EMEA Leads queue and hit save. And we're down to the last step, which is to test it out. Since all queues automatically create a list view, let's go to the Leads tab and check EMEA Leads. Well, the list is empty since there is currently no record in our org that is owned by this queue. Now let me create a test lead that represents an email lead that satisfies the criteria that we set for the assignment rule earlier. Now going back to the email leads view, let's check if the record is there, <laughs> which it should be. Now I did not check the send email to members checkbox, but if you did, verify if the notification was also sent to the recipient's inboxes. Now, let's say I am one of the members of the queue. How do I pick up a record to work on? Now, logging in as a queue member, when viewing the queue list view, I will just tick the checkbox and click the accept button. Alternatively, automation can also be set up for this based on what you already have in your org. So a custom action that calls a flow can also work for this. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that even if a record owner is set to a queue, it does not prevent a user from working on it. There is no record lock for queue owned records. So as a way around this, you can opt to create a validation rule or a flow. Okay, so where else can we use queues? Queues aren't for all objects, but they aren't just for leads either. You can also use them for objects like cases, tasks, orders, service contracts, knowledge articles, and custom objects. So to wrap it up, queues make handling work way easier and can improve how teams work together by enabling them to prioritize, distribute, and assign records. So it's ideal for shared workloads and also increasing visibility for instances when members of the team are not present. They are a smart way to work, definitely, and there is also no limit to how many queues you can have in your org. So consider extending queues to other teams in your organization. Thank you.